It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Washington Commanders. And it's coming up next. We are technically five miles east of Washington, D.C., and that's where you find this place, FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Washington Commanders. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and as we look at this matchup, Every time there's something different to focus on. So I'll just ask you, what do you see here in this one? Well, Rembrandt, you've given me a pretty blank canvas to focus on, haven't you? Yeah. Where do you think I'm going to go with this? Oh, secondary? You know me. <laughs> you know me well, right? In a game like this, it's always about the secondary. Can they handle the passing attack and make a few plays? Now the kicker, Brandon McManus, about ready to get us started. And we are underway from FedEx Field. And this taken in at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The KC offense set to go, led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league. It's Patrick Mahomes. And simply put, for many, he's the gold standard for quarterbacks in today's NFL because of his ability to create find the open man use all the different arm angles that he has he's a complete package and boy his team loves to play around him they'll start the drive here with Pacheco and this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30 yard line well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second down and three. Looking to throw is Mahomes. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Well, the first drive here and the first time that we've called the big tight end's name, but I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that would draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers are getting involved as this game goes on. And he carries this one past the midfield stripe and into commander territory. And that's something you have to get ready for defensively because in today's NFL, teams will use their wide receivers on jet sweeps, end arounds. They'll move them back in the backfield and make them running backs. Partner, this was much more of a tap pass, but effective nonetheless. And I think both guys love it. If you're a quarterback, it's an easy completion. If you're a wide receiver, you get the easy reception and also a chance to try to make a play with your feet. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 24-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. Mahomes now on first down. Got him in. It's Brown. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. It'll go down as a gain of six. And that will bring up second down. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go. And sometimes the execution is... And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. But fortunately, he's able to recover. 
recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. All I can say about this play is that someone's living right. I mean, he's trying to gain yardage, trying to get upfield. Ball comes free. What's that panic that we've talked about oftentimes that you feel when you yeah, lose the ball? You can sense it. Oh, you can sense it. And somehow he got to it and was able to recover it for his squad. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now here's Mahomes. This is caught. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw it. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Well, just about an ideal start to this one offensively because on the road, you want to make sure you quiet the home crowd early. And how do they do it? Nice march to start things off, let the run game find its footing early. That drive certainly checked a lot of boxes, and they finished it off with a touchdown run. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. So out comes the Washington offense as they get their first shot. And they will be let out by their rookie quarterback. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Knife's his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Looking to throw. Daniels. This is swung out to Eckler. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. It'll go as a gain of four. And now we've got a third and three. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown game. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. Up the middle with Eckler. Oh, he shifts past him. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second down and six now. Once more, here's Eckler. 
Good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the juke. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it's going to make it third down at six. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. To throw on third down, Daniels. That one downfield for Dotson. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. They were maybe hoping for a little bit of a back shoulder fade there, and that's a play that's been in vogue the last few years in all aspects of football, but they couldn't get the hook up there. So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. Back deep is Kadarius Toney. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. And look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. He's settling in nicely here in the first quarter, running the football. Remember, he already has the touchdown run. And you can feel the vibe, can't you? He's in unison with his offensive front. They are in concert together. So if you're flipping over to the other side of the line of scrimmage, they've got to be more physical and handle some of these gaps that have been created. Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. 23 yards on the play. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Rice. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Zero hesitation that time. That was get ball, throw ball. Yeah, turn into a smoke route. If you see the coverage off the receiver, doesn't matter whether you call it a run or not. Just take the ball, get it out to him. So from the 37, here's second and two. Mahomes now to throw. This will be caught by Brown. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Mahomes to throw once more. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he's finally taken down, and it's a big game there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter as they go to work on a first and goal. Pacheco is into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Butker on for the PAT. Oh, 
And it's good to make it 14-0. So that a seven-play, 80-yard drive. And it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling OK. And a short pick up to about the 27. It'll be second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Looking to throw on second down. Daniels. That one complete out to Dotson. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They'll give him four yards there. And now it's third and three. They should have got more out of that, though. He was wide open. I love how emphatic you are with that call because that's exactly what I was thinking. Wide open in the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get upfield with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost himself some yardage there. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second down and eight. Off play action. Daniels. That one downfield for Dodson. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Justin Reed. And the Chiefs are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. And out come the Chiefs now. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just not supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. They go play fake. Mahomes. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Mahomes going to throw. That is caught. Finding space at the 40. And five. 
finally brought down at the 43. A big play there for KC, 45 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Now it's Mahomes again. And this is taken in at the five. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. 39 yards there, a big one. This offense is looking very comfortable here in this first half. Very relaxed, very smooth, very efficient. No wasted motions. Things are definitely going their way, and they continue to move the ball downfield. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And the Chiefs take a three touchdown lead. So what a first half that he has had running the football. That now three touchdown runs. And I would anticipate that when they get down in the red zone, he's going to get more chances as this game goes on. And I think that the guys blocking for him are going to ask for him to get more chances. They like the rhythm they've developed. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that makes the score 21 to zip. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Washington offense set to take over. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher, a really nice run. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. Back to throw, Daniels. And that one gonna be off target and incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. Oh, some strong running. Austin Eckler. Touchdown, Washington. Austin Eckler, 71 yards. And the commanders get a bit closer. We see this a lot on third and short yardage, especially down here in the red zone. They're going to sell out to stop the run, try and hold them to a field goal. But once the running back gets past the first wave, the resistance can evaporate after that. And he not only picks up the first, but he takes it all the way into the end zone. Oh, 
On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. It's up, it's good, and that'll cut the lead to 21 to 7. So the drive there, they went 80 yards in three plays. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. On first and 10, here's Pacheco. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I think we got to give it up for him right there. That's a heck of an athletic move for a big man right in the middle of the line. How about the play he makes there? Nowhere to run, and he finishes that one off for a loss. On second down, here's Mahomes. Caught Kelsey, left side. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Pacheco gets it up the gun, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. How about Jonathan Allen there pushing up field to make the stop behind the line? That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing now is Mahomes. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 31-yard line. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. That's a big gainer on that play. And from experience, I can tell you, that's where defensive backs will come into the huddle and say, guys, how about some pass rush? But you're going to say it nicely because those big guys up front, they don't like being criticized very much. Quarterbacks in this league, you know they'll pick you apart if you give them time like that to find receivers downfield. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Now Mahomes. Man open left side is Brown. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. And again, it's Mahomes. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 
The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit and another first down. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. On first down, Mahomes. And it's caught. It's so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. And it's straight, it's Pacheco. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Isaiah Pacheco on his way to a historic performance. Four first half touchdowns. And the Chiefs will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Extra point by Butker is on target, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The commanders back out late in this first half. And with a three-score deficit staring him in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. Throwing to start the drive. Daniels. This pass hauled in by Dotson. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Looking to throw. Daniels over the middle, brought in by Dotson. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Second and five. Operating from the gun, Daniels. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And the Chiefs are going to get him. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. So a change of possession here on the punt. And control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The 
KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. We got a strong first half out of the running back, Isaiah Pacheco. He's found the end zone four times on the ground already as he's putting together the kind of performance you dream about as a running back. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Dictate. Washington down on the scoreboard, but they are getting the football first here, and we are back underway on EA Sports. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. First chance for the commander's offense now as they head out for their opening series of the second half. Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive on that play sheet for any of those coordinators? They just don't have it, right? <laughs> You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit, as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. 102 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. It's Eckler again, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. On third down, here's Eckler. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Eckler now between the tackles. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 10 yards there, good for a Washington first down. He had a really solid first half running the football and picking up where he left off here in the third quarter. How about the yardage he's piling up right now? This feels like a full game, not just this series that we're watching right now. I know people are screaming, where are the adjustments from halftime on the defensive side of the ball? Sometimes they're just not there. Sometimes you just have to find a way to tackle some. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. The big man, get the oxygen tank ready. Now he has brought this one back. A fumble recovery for a Chiefs touchdown. And Charles, look at the big fella. What a rumble that was. Not only to scoop it, but then take it the rest of the way for the touchdown. And now you know they're going to have to hear about it from now on. The defensive backs, he's going to want to run with them, do their drills, the whole deal. He thinks he's the pace setter now. It doesn't matter what happens in practice this week. He's smiling.
Butker now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The Washington offense set to take over again. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. And now you have to wonder, partner, at what point in time do they forget the running game? It's been a struggle so far in this one. I would think they'd have to start throwing it a little bit more. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. Call it a gain of a yard. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. On third down, Daniels. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Target is to Dotson, and he's got him. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. A lot of ground left to make up, obviously. A lopsided contest, and we're already in the third quarter. And they won't get it all back in one play or one drive. That's cliche, but it's true, Charles. If they can just maybe get plays like that and get a little momentum built, they can get the scoreboard a little closer. And can you add some blinders to the cliche, meaning keep these guys from looking at the scoreboard because that doesn't help them at all right now. Their focus needs to be on finishing every drive with points and playing mistake-free football from here on out. Second down and a little more than a yard here. They'll look to throw again. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Running on first down, Eckler. Brought down at the 20. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. To throw on second down, Daniels. Touchdown, Washington. Jahan Dotson, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Commanders are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. 
Obviously, the scoreboard right now is not the friend of this rookie quarterback, but hey, a touchdown pass there maybe builds a little confidence. Every rep is valuable when you're a rookie. Every time you step up and throw the football, there's a lesson to be learned. Yeah, he took advantage of a little bit of loose coverage there with the lead, but at the same time, got it done. It'll take a little bit of satisfaction away from that throw. Extra point from McManus is good. And that'll cut the lead back down to 21. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Casey's offense ready to take over. Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And yeah, this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 38 now, here's second and a yard. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. That's complete to Tony. First target, first catch, and a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Running left to give to Pacheco. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Those are the plays this defense needs with the deficit they're facing. It certainly is, and they've got to continue to swarm the football and hope that someone, while they're holding up the ball carrier, can get in there and rake it and lock it free. They need to get some takeaways as well. Mahomes to throw on second down. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Here's third and three. Mahomes now to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And this will be caught by Brown. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 11 more on that one, and another first down. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now at FedEx Field. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Mahomes now on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. A run by Pacheco on second down. Five yards. Now it's third and five. 
Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Now here's Mahomes. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he doesn't quite make it. Taking it with it, an eyelash. Dropped it to one. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now. Still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people have pointed out to me, this is a video game, man. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. Here's Pacheco, and he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco taking it in from a yard out. And the Chiefs up the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So out comes Washington's offense to take over. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? He'll get this out wide to Eckler call it a gain of six on the play and it's second down you got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff right and this is why you work on your tackling tackle them after the catch inbounds keep the clock running just go ahead and bleed the game out that way this second and four back to throw Daniels out left to Dotson a six-yard pass on back-to-back -back plays. Picks up the first. <laughs> Motion man is Crowder. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion, and they're just a little over 100 yards passing here in this game, so defensively, pretty good job. Definitely, because they were never really able to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers. So a lot of credit to the defensive game plan and especially the execution. Again, he'll drop to throw. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. Five yards, now it's third and five. That's a good looking play to me. The big tight end on a crossing route coming underneath. Sometimes he can gain some serious momentum going forward, can he? Yeah, he can indeed, and pretty well executed there. This offense so far on third down, they've been very good, five for seven thus far. This will be third and five. Back to throw again. That one behind his receiver and incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. 
As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he gives himself up, but not before he gets the conversion. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. We've seen the pressure get to him several times in this game. There, though, we see him escaping. And we've seen this rookie video before as well. That type of pressure, oftentimes, what do you rip it for him? That he learns how to handle the pressure, still keep his eyes downfield, and make some throws. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Ball on the 39. Here's second and a couple. Looking to throw. Daniels. He'll drop this one up. Now the ball comes loose, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he has brought this one back. A fumble recovery for a Chiefs touchdown. So that is now two fumble return touchdowns. And you're talking about something that's going to drive a head coach crazy. Without a doubt. But for the defensive guys, once you do it once, you create a frenzy. Everybody wants to get involved, and they got it done a second time. Butker on for the PAT. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And he returns this to the 22. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Operating from the gun, Daniels. That's going to be caught downfield by McLaurin. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Another first down there as this one goes for 25. If he's their best threat on offense, use your number one cover guy on defense. It doesn't matter about size. They have had him locked up. That just his first catch of the game. Big reason why they're down. Throwing on first down. Daniels. And he's taken down. A Chiefs sack. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. So if we recount real quick, he had the touchdown earlier, and now he comes up with the sack here. No doubt about it, he's having himself a game. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Back to throw. Daniels looking for Dotson, and he's got him. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 25-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. 
Now, fourth quarter, certainly not enough time for a comeback, but nice to see them making use of the time remaining to try and make this one a little more respectable. Yeah, I think the ultimate goal, good execution, be crisp, be sharp, and find a way to put some points on the board to make this thing look just a little bit better. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Coming across the field, he finds Dotson. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. Well, I mean, look, obviously there's no 20 or 30 point play in that playbook, but they can try to end things here on a positive note despite trailing big, and that looks like what they're trying to do here by pushing the ball downfield. Well, let me go with the heavy cliche then, partner. Just control what you can control right now, and all they can control here is how their final plays develop. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Commander's football as we get back to it. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. And this is caught. Well, they get one back, picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. McManus's point after is good, and that'll cut the lead down a bit to 28. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 53 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. On first down, they go back to Pacheco. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. They had three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Again, it's Pacheco. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, 
they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're gonna cherish. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we sign off from Landover.